I'm told that we live in the land of the free. And I think that's true if you don't count the 60 million. I'm told that this is the freest country in the world, the freest in the history of the world. And I think that's true also if you don't count the 60 million. Freedom is, I'm told, the great value that we all hold dear. It's the thing that keeps us together. And that's true if by we, you mean everyone except the 60 million. The 60 million who have been slaughtered in abortion clinics. Now, 60 million, 60 million, 60 million human children have been massacred in the span of 45 years in this country. That's 1.3 million a year. That's an average of well over 3,000 a day for 45 years. That adds up to 60 million. This is the number that I want you to take with you. If you take nothing else with you, take that number with you as you leave here today. Take 60 million. You ought to remember it. It ought to be seared into your conscience. 60 million. Whenever someone talks about our freedoms in this country, remember the 60 million. Remember, in other words, that America is free except for the fact that it is not. Through abortion, we have not only removed freedom from the victims of abortion, but we have removed it from all unborn people and thus from all people. This is what makes abortion an especially insidious form of a human rights atrocity because abortion is the literal dehumanization of every person who is undergoing a certain stage of development. And because we will all, we all have undergone that stage of development, it means that it dehumanizes all of us. This is not merely the dehumanization of a certain race or ethnicity, as horrible as that is. This is rather the dehumanization of humanity itself. 